According to court documents obtained by NBC News, Matthew Perry requested his assistant, Kenneth Awamasa, to administer ketamine to him three times on the day of his death. Perry's final words, shoot me up with a big one, revealed his dependence on the drug. This information came to light after Awamasa and four others were charged in connection with Perry's death on October 28, 2023, when he was found unresponsive in his hot tub. The court documents reveal that on October 28, Matthew Perry, who was 54 at the time of his death, requested his first ketamine dose from Kenneth Awamasa at 8.30 a.m. He received a second dose around 12.30 p.m. while watching a movie at his $5.2 million Los Angeles home. Later, Perry asked Awamasa to administer a third dose and prepare his jacuzzi. After fulfilling these requests, Iwamasa left to run errands, only to return and find Perry deceased. Perry had previously spoken about using ketamine to manage his depression, but in the month leading up to his death, he had been misusing the drug. According to Awamasa's plea deal, he had been giving Perry ketamine, a medication used to detach patients from pain during medical procedures, for approximately a month. Prosecutors claim that Dr. Salvador Placencia, 42, taught Matthew Perry's assistant, Kenneth Awamasa, how to administer ketamine after meeting Perry in late September 2023. Placencia allegedly provided Perry with ketamine, despite Perry already receiving treatments from a doctor. The 17 again actor instructed Awamasa to continue buying ketamine from Placencia and later from Eric Fleming, who were both charged. Furthermore, Placencia allegedly conspired with Dr. Mark Chavez, 54, to supply Perry with more ketamine and exploit him for financial gain. According to allegations, Dr. Salvador Placencia texted Dr. Mark Chavez, I wonder how much this moron will pay. Regarding Matthew Perry's payments for ketamine, Perry paid the duo $55,000 in cash for the drug in the weeks leading up to his death. Placencia was aware of Perry's troubled relationship with ketamine, and days before his death, he allegedly described the actor as spiraling out of control with his addiction. Placencia had also seen Perry's body freeze up and his blood pressure spike on October 12th after administering ketamine, despite knowing Perry had already received a dose from his doctor that day. Perry had openly discussed his struggles with substance abuse and ketamine use in his memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, a memoir.